Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, fíjese que ahora me ha tocado trabajar hasta los 8.45, así que solo voy a estar escuchando. A las 9 llego a mi casa. Okay. Ya de las 9 en adelante voy a poder participar. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok, welcome, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sonia, dígame. Teacher. Hola. Hola, hola. Sí, yo le quiero comentar de que yo voy a salir ahorita de mi trabajo, entonces voy a apagar la cámara, o sea, siempre pero voy a ir pendiente de la clase y escuchando, pero voy a ir en el, en el carro, así que no voy manejando yo, pero, pero no voy a llevar la cámara encendida. Comprendido. Gracias, Tich. Okay, we are almost ready. Estamos ya listos. Yes, teacher, I am ready. Yes. Okay, hold on a second. Un segundo, permítame un segundo, por favor. Okay.
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, permítanme un segundito, por favor. Estoy ajustando el archivo, se lo voy a enviar por imagen quizás de los verbos. I got it here. Se lo voy a enviar como un PDF. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay, try to download it, please. You have it there in the chat. Ahí los tienen en el chat. Traten de descargar, por favor. A mí no me aparece, teacher. ¿Será que no se está, no se ha descargado? ¿Cómo se ha cargado? Hola. No hay nada. No aparece no, ni en el WhatsApp ni en el chat de Zoom. No, en el, en el chat de, de Zoom. No aparece nada, teacher. No sé por qué... Permítame un segundito. Ahí está. Ahora sí. ¿Sí, sí. ¿Sí lo bien? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, descargue por favor ahí. <coughs>
Okay, let me see. 18, okay, I'm going to check out the attendance and we are going to start talking now. But before that, let me show you the slide that we are going to see today and the topic for today. Okay, I already got it here. This is slide number eight. Bueno, por ahí van guardando eso. We're going to talk today, we are going to talk about daily routines, activities. Today is class number eight. But before to start and to make a review, we are going to check out the attendance. Antes de iniciar, voy a revisar de una vez la asistencia, Ana Victoria. Yes, teacher. Andrés. I'm here, I'm here. Ok. Ángel eh, Giovanni. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Brenda... Natalie. Present teacher. Carlos Eliasar. Hello. Hi. Okay. Está por acá. Hello. I'm here. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Hello. I'm here. Okay, okay. Un segundo, por favor. Okay, siguiente sería Diana. Present teacher. Erika. Present teacher. Okay, eh, Evelyn. Present, present teacher. Ingrid. Ingrid Elizabeth. No. Ismael Ernesto. Present, good night. Okay, present. Thank you, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. 
Julia y Anet. Bueno, creo que es la que mencionó que va viajando. ¿no? Katia. Present teacher. Ok, ahí está Luis Armando. Present teacher, tengo una pregunta. Dime, don Luis. Hoy recibí una llamada y me dijeron que yo no tuve la clase ayer. No sé por qué. Luis Armando Girón. Sí. No, yo le muestro el resultado de su asistencia y la, la tengo registrada. Ajá, pero me llamaron hoy. Le dije que había faltado a la señorita el viernes porque tuve que trabajar. Sí. Pero me dijeron eso. Sobre eso, dije. Ok, pero, pero eh, en mi reporte, en el reporte de la plataforma, sí aparece su asistencia. Y si gusta, yo le hago okay. el, el envío, porque es así. El único que tuve a, ayer fue eh, el de Carlos Elias, que me comentó su problema familiar. Y yo ya agregué el comentario ahí, porque fue su falta. Alguien aparente ahí escribe que se le mandó mensaje, pero que no respondió. Pero yo ahí puse de las razones que él me comentó, porque se faltó ayer. Pero me, me está... Sí. Hola. Pero, este, fíjate que yo aún no he llegado a casa, pero aquí estoy escuchando. Ok. Perfecto. Eh, Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Michelle. Eh, Michael, perdón. Michael Enrique. Michael. Ayer no se conectó también Michael, no sé qué está pasando ahí. A las, les le enviaron un mensaje a las 11 y 38 y no, no respondió. Bueno, algo pasa con Michael. Eh, Rosalí. Present teacher. Eh, Sandra Iber. Present teacher. Y Sonia Smeralda. Present teacher. Bueno, ahorita solo nos queda Michael. Julia Janet no respondió. Y Ingrid, Ingrid. Teacher English acaba de decir. Sí, ella, va manejando. ella acaba de decir que no ha llegado todavía, pero sí está conectado. Aquí están. Y en el caso de... ¿Quién fue el que me dijo que le habían llamado? Permítanme un segundo. Que lo Yo, pero, teacher. Armando. Armando. Ok, sí, el reporte está acá. Me pongo que le digan que no, que no estuvo. Si la falta suya fue... Ya le digo que ya fue viernes. El viernes, sí. No estuvo. Bueno, pero ya aquí en el caso de Michael ya tiene una, tiene dos. No, estas serían tres. Algo pasó ahí. Bueno. Al inicio yo les comenté eh, referente a sus asistencias son sumamente importantes para poder aprobar el módulo. Yo sé que se presentan situaciones que están fuera de control. Eh, 
son muy duras, muy difíciles. Y bueno, en mi caso lo que hago es pasar el reporte de lo que ustedes me comentan. Y a veces lo hago así de forma un tanto eh, discreto para no, para no generar como se llama ninguna incertidumbre en el grupo. Pero sí, yo sé que algunos están pasando situaciones bien complicadas. Créanme en lo personal, eh, yo trato de usar la empatía y estar este, también en sus zapatitos. Yo trato de hacer lo, lo, lo posible pues, para, para poder ayudar en, en lo que se pueda. ¿no? Así es que adelante. Eh, Ahorita, según lo que veo, solo en el caso de, de Michael, creo que es que ya lleva el de bachilleres. Bueno, sabrá si alguien de ustedes es compañero de él. ¿Sabe alguna cuestión? Me lo puede comunicar. Si no lo quiere hacer a través de este medio, lo puede hacer a través de, del chat. Eh, en forma directa, inbox. Porque no tenemos el dato sobre él. Y es necesario saber cómo vamos a avanzar. Ok, entonces, a ah, ver, as. So now, talking about uh, the new topic is daily routine activities in practice. It's class number eight. Okay, uh, what do you uh, uh, infer when you see the topic? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente a usted cuando ve daily routines activities? Actividades diarias. Ah, uh, okay. All the activities that we need to do during the day. Okay. Let me move a little bit. But before to talk about this topic, uh, we need to make a review uh, about the previous class. Antes de hablar del nuevo tema, hagamos como un repaso de, de lo que vimos el día de ayer para que amarremos ese conocimiento con el de hoy. Así que les oigo. Me dicen, por favor. ¿Qué es lo que recordamos? What do you remember about the previous class? Vimos eh, cómo formular preguntas con el do y el das eh, y a qué pronombre corresponde cada una de, los, de ellas dos. Ok. Si me ha ¿alguien más? Yes y no question en short answers. Yes no question en short answers. Okay. Somebody can give me some example. Alguien me regala un par de ejemplos. Good evening. Well, an example, do you like to read? Okay. What about the answer? Yes, I do. Wow, okay, perfect. Somebody else, somebody else. Okay. And an example, other example, por favor. Uh, do you speak Japanese? 
Do you speak Japanese? No, I don't. Yes, I do. All the pen. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Okay. An example. And also, uh, do you remember that we study some irregular pairs and I mentioned some roots? You shared a, a picture related with that in the group. Somebody remember the roots? Alguien recuerda las reglas? Había cuatro reglas, había incluso compartieron esa imagen por ahí. Eh, las consonantes eh, los, las consonantes terminadas en Y se les agrega I E y a las vocales este I S I, I was trying to get uh, the music, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get some music. Sorry, teacher. But it seems that it was not a good Okay, what, what else do you remember about? Muy poquito, recordamos, muy poquito. La otra era que cuando los verbos terminan en SX, CH o SH, se les agrega S. Ah, ok, perfecto. Somebody can give me some example using some verb and in the, on those words. Alguien me regala un ejemplo con verbos que terminan en esas letras. Ya mencionamos. Wash. Y no sé si se pronuncia wash. Sí, pero uh, what I, I want is that you create a sentence in English. Ah, ok. Today I wash TV. Of the afternoon. I got it bad. Okay. Uh, what I want is that you use it with the personal pronoun that you can uh, put the inflections. Pero yo lo que quiero es que ese verbo se use con una tercera persona para ver el cambio que va a sufrir. Okay. She watched. Watches. Watches. Watches TV uh, all the day. Okay, perfect. An example, other example. You can take a look at uh, your notes. You're in best of tools. Resume is. You work at in the factory? Pero ahí como usamos, eh, sí tiene un inflexión, pero es en pasado. Y yo lo que quiero ver es eh, que sea un verbo que termine en las letras que ya mencionaron y que cambie el curso, si va a agregar ese o que es. Voy a decir una vez si estaba en The Mechanic Fixex, um, The Cars. Okay, Maria said, Carlos fixes the car. Okay. Okay, second, okay, I'm going to stop. Okay. 
Okay, let us try to resolve this one. Uh, may present simple question. Do you like cake? Do you like cake? Okay, try to resolve this three one. Son tres. Trate de resolverlas. Le doy eh, cuatro minutos para que recordemos. Let me turn on my air condition. Okay, here we go. Okay. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let, re let us resolve the number one. She live in London. Does she live in London? Does she live in London? The answer? Yes, she does. Oh, she does. Okay, number two. Rosalie, tiene mano arriba. And um, do they hate a study gym? Hate, hate. Uh, do, do they hate a study gym? Studying, 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 studying. Sí, sería. Do they hate studying? Do they hate studying? Do you know what is the meaning of the word hate? No. The contrary of love. Mm -hmm. The contrast of low. Low. The contrast all the way around. The opposite. 
ah, ajá, o, ajá, de odio. <ríe> en, no. Sí, así que en They vez de... don't. No, they don't. En vez de que alguien le, le, le dicen, primero le dicen I love you y después le dicen I hate you. Son las etapas de la vida. Ok, Katia. Ok. Do you drink tea every morning? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. What about you? ¿Saben lo, sabe lo que significa eso de what, what about you? What about you? Si, si, si por ejemplo me pregunta eh, eso, uh, si tomo té todas las mañanas, yo le digo, yes, I do, sí. Y yo digo, what about you? Y le estoy diciendo, y tú, y usted. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta, Katia? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> ah, ok, no, I don't. Anoten, por favor, son cositas que no están en la diapo. You need to take care of that too. Okay. Okay, in order to start talking about the, our new topic, uh, we are going to talk about daily routines in English. You already mentioned something. At the moment, uh, we are going to start doing all our activities. We are talking about daily routines. But before to show you that, I would like to hear from some of you your routines. Antes de te hablar de eso, me gustaría que alguien me mencione cómo es su rutina. What about you, Julia? Janet, welcome. Welcome, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Could you share with us uh, at what time, a qué horas, what time do you, uh, do you start your routine? I I'm wake up at uh, four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Okay. Take a shower. Uh, uh, pre prepare the um, lunch. Uh, leave. Well, salgo seis a.m. Um, at work. Okay, and tell us. Uh, what time do you finish your, your routine? Okay. As, as soon as we finish the class, or you you have to continue doing something else? Uh, continue. Um, uh, tareas, uh, the class. Okay. Okay, so Maria want to say something about? At least uh, what I want to hear is yes, at the time that you start your routine and at what time do you finish? Later on, maybe we are going to talk about all the activities that you perform during the day and also part of the night, you know? Tell me. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Okay, let us continue then with my presentation. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on a second. Permítame si me toca el de.
Okay, let me show you some picture matter that you can make your own ideas. When we talk about daily routine, we are talking about different activities that we perform during the day, and maybe some uh, some of them we have to do at night too. Okay, uh, let us see the first one that we have. Okay, I get up right here. Say I get up at seven a.m. in UK. Maybe it's a uh, total different, but I want is that you get from me. Okay, what I need is that you get familiar with the sounds of each expression. Okay, repeat, I get up, I get up. 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 Luego agregamos la hora en la que nosotros nos levantamos. Before that, seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but before that, one is missing. I don't have it here. Ahí nos falta una. Is wake wake up the moment that you open your eyes. Then you turn off your alarm. Okay, this is I get up at five o'clock in the morning. This is my case. What about your case, Angel? Say the sentence including the, the hour. I get up at uh, seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the morning? morning? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, my personal horario. Yeah, talking about yourself. Uh, uh, I que, get up. Perdón. A la hora que usted se levanta. Okay, I get up at uh, four o'clock. In the morning. Yes. Yo In the morning. Decía, se levanta a las siete. Wow, entra a trabajar a las diez, quizás. <laughs> Aquí. No. Okay. Okay, what about you, uh, Julia? You already mentioned something, right? Okay. Uh, Evelyn, Karina, what about you, Evelyn, Karina? No. I had two uh, three. I did not. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I need to plug my computer. Okay, okay, continue. Okay, continue. I get up, that's three. Okay. I'm okay. okay, thank you. What about you, Erica, Veronica, Dominguez? Erica, hello, Erica. Erica, hello. Hello, hello. I grab up the pine. I get up at pine. Five o'clock, five thirty, five twenty-five. Tell me. Cinco punto, cinco quince, cinco cinco veinticinco. Ah, whatever you can tell me. Five ten. Ah, entonces ahí sería ten after five. También vamos a ver cómo decir la hora. Ten after five. Diez después de las cinco. Ten after five. Ese tema nos aparece más adelantito. Ahí está. Ok, thank you. Uh, Diana Yamilet. What about you, Diana Yamilet? Hello. Uh, 
I get up at six o'clock. Okay. As I told before, we missed one. Como dije al inicio, ahí nos falta una. The time that you wake up. Wake up. Ah, uh, wake up. A la hora que se despierta es distinto. In my okay. case, for example, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I took off my alarm and I get up. Fifteen okay. minutes after I wake up. Okay. Es decir, yo me levanto de 15 minutos después que me despierto. 15 after 5, a quarter after 5. Okay. Okay, what about you, um, Sandra Ivette? Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh. Tell me. I get I get up uh fifty a uh, half a.m. Five. I get up at fifty now. <laughs> Five a uh, half a.m. Ah uh, okay. <laughs> a half after five. Okay. A half, a half after five. Or five after half, whatever. Okay, um, Natalie? What about you, Natalie? Hello. Hello, teacher. I get up four o'clock in the morning. Get ready um, and leave at five o'clock. At work and okay, they okay, 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 okay. Ya me despertó esa música otra vez. Sí, se la pongo al niño para que so, se quede quieto. Ya solo veo a los niños de parvularia bailando esa canción. Sí. Okay, Mayra, Elizabeth, what about you? I get up four o'clock. Okay, don't forget to say at. No se me olvide, at. I get up at. I get up at, at four, four o'clock. Okay. Mire, todos madrugan y nos acostamos noche. Yes. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Como, como sobrevivimos. Como survivors. Okay. Yes. Um, let me see. Hey, Carlos. What about you, Sandra? Um, I got up at uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning, okay. Sonia? Not there. Angel is not there too. Okay, Anna Victoria, what about you, Anna Victoria? I get up at five o'clock every day. Every day, five o'clock of the day. Bueno, okay, what else? Let me see. I already asked you. Uh, what about you, Evelyn? You already told me, right? Sandra, you already told us too. Okay, let us continue then. Don't forget, I get up, up, and you are going to put uh, the, the exact time that you get up there. Okay, the next one is Okay, take a look at this. I brush my teeth and wash my face. That means that uh she doesn't take a shower, you know. Only just yes, brush the teeth and wash the face. Bueno, no, te, no toma el shower, sino que solo brush the teeth and wash my face at 7, uh, 10 after 7 a.m. Okay, repeat. I brush my teeth. I brush my 
I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. And in this case, I watch my face. And wash my face. I wash my face. I wash my face. At uh, 10 after 7 a.m. At 10 7 a.m. Okay. Let's see the next one. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. At 8 a.m. I ate m. I ate n m. At 8 a.m. In this case, but what about you? Do you have breakfast before you leave your house, or maybe you go to a special place out of your house? Do you have breakfast in your house or in another place? Sometimes breakfast at the um in the house. Sometimes. Okay. No sir. All the all this situation maybe okay. At my house, teacher. In your house? Yes, but early. Okay. I in have breakfast in the work. In your job? In the, in the cafeteria? Or in a in restaurant? In the office. In or the office. In the office? But that means that you prepare yes. your food, you need to cook uh, really early, and you take it to your, to your office. Or do you buy it out of your house. Significa que lo prepara usted si se lo lleva para la oficina o lo compra y se lo lleva para la oficina. All depends. Sí, lo, pre lo preparo yo, lo llevo. Okay, you, you prepare you on, you on, okay. Perfect. Okay, repeat. At 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. I clean house. I clean, I clean the house. house. But in your case, in your case it's really dif different. En su caso es diferente porque como trabajan, entonces no. Eso podría ser maybe a, a, a weekend. Tal vez los fines de semana. Pero no, la muchacha siempre está ahí. Así que esa actividad no entra, no entra. O maybe, I don't know. Okay. I do lunch. Okay, hold on. I don't know why I can see it very well. Let me move a little bit. I do lunch at uh, 11.30 a.m. He's talking about somebody that is uh, in her house. Cuando alguien está en su casa, alguien puede decir, I do lunch, I prepare my lunch at 11.30 a.m. Si es que cocina, you no? Know? Esta rutina está más apegada a alguien que pasa en su casa. But what I need is the vocabulary here. Okay, what about this one? I ate lunch I, at 1.30 p.m. What about, what about you? I guess it's totally different, right? Mayra, what about you? What time do you take your lunch? Um, one o'clock. One o'clock? Yes. Okay. How many times do you have in order to take your lunch? ¿Cuánto tiempo? 30 minutes. 15? Yes. My goodness. This is short time. 
you need to be in a hurry. You, you need to be in a hurry, like like you are in the army, and you need to eat in a fast way. Okay. What about you, Diana? What time do you take your your lunch? Uh, our lunch at uh, one o'clock. One o'clock? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let me move forward. I do my job at uh, CPM. Talking about homework, uh, if somebody studied, Somebody said, I, I do my, my job at 3 p.m. But in your case, it's totally different, as I told you. Okay, at uh, 4.30 p.m., I take a shower. That means that I already get back to uh, my house. And at 5.30 p.m. I go to the university, some of you. In our case, at 8 uh, o'clock in the evening, I sit down in front of my computer or cell phone in order to attend the class. I go home at uh, 9.45 uh, p.m. In our case, is different because, well, in my case, I go to my bed after 11. After 11, 11.30, 11.40. And sometimes uh, I go to bed at midnight, you know. In my case, a veces me voy a la cama a las 11.30, 11.40, después de las 12. Tengo que subirles el video de la misma noche porque el siguiente día tengo que salir temprano. Y ahorita en mi trabajo eh, el servicio de internet is not working. Entonces no puedo hacerlo desde mi trabajo. Tengo que dejarlo subido. Entonces tengo que esperarme a que me cargue el video en YouTube. Tengo que esperar a que se convierta. En eso se me hace en las 11 y 30, 11 y 40 de la noche. Imagínense cómo nos corresponde a todos hacer. Pero ni modo, así toca. Yes, teacher. Y en el caso de ustedes que son mamás, hasta esa hora les queda tiempo de ayudarle a hacer algo a los niños, dejarles listo lo que van a necesitar mañana. Es un sobrepuesto, así que no crean que no las entiendo. Sí. Thank you, teacher. En esa parte, sí. Eh, Thank you. Yo soy así un poco empático porque sé la realidad de cómo eh, las mamás hacen un sobreesfuerzo. Y gracias a nuestras mamás estamos, no, no voy a decir que los papás no, no ponen de su parte, ¿cómo no? But um, moms, they, uh, they do the, the hardest part. Las mamás le toca la parte más linda. Así es. Así es que siéntanse dichosos. And I had dinner at uh, 10, uh, 30 a.m. But this case, in this time is p.m. Bueno, algunas veces me ha tocado también cenar después de que termino la clase porque no tuve tiempo. Y ahí hay que esperar una hora. We need to wake up at one hour in order to go, go to bed. You need to look for some activities that maybe you can do, like uh, what are the, the plans or something like that. In my case, when I to cenar demasiado tarde, me, me pongo a regar las plantas a esa hora para que pase el tiempo y así le ayudo a también a las plantitas. Okay, and I sleep at uh, 12 30 p.m. Ben, I've been telling you something like that. And this is the ending.
Okay, now we are going to take a look in a different way, in a different form. Ahora lo vamos a ver desde otra óptica. Um, because based on that, you are going to create your own daily routine. I already told you about this one. I say wake up at the moment that you open your eyes, that your alarm is uh, buzzing. I usually say I wake up at the moment that we open our eyes. Y lo primero que hacemos es si el si la el, el alarma está en el teléfono, uh, turn off the alarm. Okay, the next one is get up. Uh, but some of you, maybe you don't need to have a, a, any alarm. You already got it in mind. But in my case, I had I had to I had to put it. I don't know what's going on. My air conditioner turned off. Okay, here we go again. Okay, repeat. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake okay, up. the next wake one. I, I, okay, the next. I turn off my alarm. I get up. I get, I get up. up. I get up. I take a shower. I take, I take, a, take a shower. I get dressed. I get dressed. What is the meaning in Spanish? Get dressed. Maybe dress. Okay. Cambiarse. I comb my hair. I comb my hair. I comb. Comb my hair. Okay. Um. I make. I prepare breakfast. Make breakfast. 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 Okay, the next one. I eat breakfast. I, I eat breakfast. breakfast. Why take breakfast? It is the same. I brush my teeth. I, I, I brush my teeth. I go to work. I go to work. I, go to work. I start work at nine. I answer email. I answer email. Okay, let me move forward. I eat lunch. I eat lunch. I have lunch. I work on my computer. I work on my computer. On my computer. I finish work at five. I finish work at five. I go home. I go home. I go home. I go home. I arrive home. I arrive home. I feed the dog. I feed the dog. In case you have a pet in your house, in caso que tenga una mascota y que sea un, un dog. Usted feed the dog, feed the cat. Eso de feed significa alimentar al perro o cualquier animal. Feed the fish. Yeah. Okay, next one. I put dinner. I eat dinner. I eat dinner. I eat dinner. I watch TV. I watch TV. I read a book. I read a book. I go to bed. I go to bed. I fall asleep. I fall asleep. 
Okay, how do I want a second? Let me show you something. Else. Okay, you already have some idea related to the, your daily routine. Ya tenemos como una idea. You can start uh, creating your own in English. You are going to create it, and, but in English. Thinking in the third moment, that is when you wake up, you open your eyes. What time do you wake up? Erika, what time do you wake up? La, re la respuesta es simple. Solo va a decir at y va a agregar la hora a la que se despierta usted. At five. At five o'clock. At five o'clock. Okay, at five. 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 Okay. What about Jose Alejandro? What about you, sir? What time do you wake up? At 40, 13. At a half after four? Uh, a young. And what time do you get up? Uh, yes. I, for, at 40, 13. Uh, hey, hey. Mm, okay, but listen my question. The first question uh, was, what time do you wake up? A que hora se despierta? And the next question, what time do you get up? A que hora se levanta? I were up uh, for, for 13. A up. And when I wanna wake up? And uh, or just wake up. Wake up. Fourth. Thirteen. Thirteen. A a n. Is correct or oh, not correct? Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to share with you something now. Okay, to up the microphone, please. Well, let me show you this picture. It's gonna help you a little bit more. Okay, take a look at the pictures. Based on that, you are going to understand better. The first one say, I wake up, I get up, I take a shower. I get dressed, I cut my hair, I had breakfast, I go to work, I start work, I answer emails, I have lunch, I finish work, I arrive home, I feed the dog, I cook dinner, uh, I had dinner, boss of them, I watch TV, I go to bed, I fall asleep. Okay, based on this picture, you are going to create your own. But what we are going to do uh, is that you are going to repeat and you are going to read it. Veamos quién, permítame un segundo de lo que me he mencionado.
Bueno, los demás están como listening. Okay, An Angel, Angel. Angel, could you please read uh, the words that are uh, under the pictures? Lea por favor las palabras que están bajo cada imagen. I quit. I get up. I get up. I take a shower. I get dressed. I comb my hair. I have breakfast. I go to work. I start work. I answer emails. I have lunch. I finish work. I ride home. I feed the dog. I cook dinner. I have dinner. I I watch TV. I go to be, I go to bed. I fall asleep. Okay. okay, thank you. Let me see uh, who else is going to participate. Um, Hello, sir. Puede compartir esta imagen. Al grupo. Yeah, you can uh, create a screenshot, take a screenshot, and you can share it there. Okay, uh, Sonia Esmeralda, could you read it, please? Sonia. Okay. I wake, I wake, I don't know how to say it. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I wake up, I wake up, I get up, I take a shower, I get dressed, dressed? Dressed. Dressed. I comb my hair. My hair. My hair. I have breakfast I go to work I start work lunch where email emails emails okay. emails I have lunch I finish work I arrive home arrive I I I, I arrive home I feed the dog I feed the dough. Okay. I cook dinner. I have dinner. I watch TV. I go to bed. I fall asleep. Okay, the previous the previous one said I got to bed. I got to bed. I got to bed. Yes, I got to bed. I got to bed. Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody who wants to read it. Bueno, veamos uh, Marvin Alexander. You want to read it? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I get up. And I wake up. Okay, I wake up. I, I get up. I take a shower. Okay. I get dressed. Dressed. I get dressed. Okay. I comb my hair. Continue. I had breakfast. I go to work. Okay. I start work. I answer emails. I had lunch. I finished work. I arrived home. I filled the dough. I cooked dinner. I had dinner. I watched TV. 
I go to the bed. I fell asleep. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us switch a little bit. We are going to um, practice in a different way. Teacher, teacher, <clears throat> teacher. Hello, sir. Hello. Coming. Hello, me escucha, teacher. Yes. Eh, tuve problemas con el internet, por eso se me salí de la sesión. Okay. Pero igual estoy tratando de resolver. Ahorita estoy con mis datos. Ah, okay, perfect. Bueno, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me share with you uh, the following exercises. Do you remember what we said yesterday, right? We talked Hello, teacher. about different uh, infections related with the, the bear when we use it with their singular person. And now yes. we're going to apply it. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, about the rut routines and my day. Okay, por ahí les he compartido un link Traten de entrar, por favor, al ejercicio. Luego vamos a compartir sus rutinas. Tranquilo. Ok. Okay, what you need to do is just to drag and 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 drop words to rearrange each sentence into its correct order. Lo que va a tener que hacer es ordenar, arrastrar, mover para ponerlas en el orden adecuado y correcto, ¿cierto? Ojo con la tercera persona del singular, por favor, poner atención a eso. Okay, try to resolve.
It's done, teacher. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay. I finished the chair. Okay. Finish. Finish the chair. Okay. Finish the chair. Finish the chair. Finish. What about the fourth one? The deep morning he his brushes. Do you remember the answer? ¿Se recuerda de la respuesta de la número uno? No. He brushed his teeth wow. in the morning, creo. Ah, uh -huh, okay. I guess, um, okay, in this exercise, I, I got one for every one of you. En la siguiente diapositiva sí tengo un ejercicio para cada uno de ustedes. Así que quien vaya mencionando, por favor. Uh, uh, pero tengo que compartir con audio. ¿cierto? Ok, take a look at this. Said that we, we go to the school by, by bus. Ok, listen. Listen, practice daily routine. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, take a look at this. Say what? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Second line, move for the next one. Say what a uh, team does. Then listen and play the right words. According to the picture, what do you think he is doing? De acuerdo a la imagen que creen lo que está haciendo él. Está despertando. Ah, okay. Wake up. Okay. Um, Wake up. Which one do you consider is the word that I need to click on it? Wake up. Okay, vamos a hacer algo. Who's speaking there? ¿Quién está ahora? Bueno, había quedado pendiente. Okay, hold on. Uh, what about you, Armando? Are you busy? Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, based on the picture, uh, which one do you consider the word that I need to click on it? Sado en la imagen y en la oración podemos hacer palabra y no sé qué es la número uno en la oración. Teacher, no le escucho. Ok. We have a picture. Tenemos una imagen. Teacher. Es que hay una interferencia. Ok. 
que permítame, vamos a quitar eso. ¿De quién será la interferencia? ¿En now? It's okay. Sí, es okay. Va, ok, ya lo va, hacemos así rápido. Eh, basado en la imagen y en lo que hemos visto de las rutinas diarias, eh, para crear la oración de la acción que está realizando el niño, ¿cuál palabra es la que debo de eh, elegir primero? De todas las que tengo ahí, morning, up, early, on, way, way, bed, he, lay, in, tired, o'clock, ways, gets, very. Which one do you consider is the first one? The first yeah. one is he. Sí. Sí. Okay, let me click on it, this one. Okay, you say this is the power. One. Okay, what about the second one? Wait. La, la segunda. Wait. 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 No sé cómo se pronuncia el que lleva es o wake up. Wait. Wait. Wake up. Okay, this Wait. one or this one? Wait. This. This. This one or this Wait. one? This place, the abajo. Okay. Okay. Next. Up. 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 Okay. Next. Next one. We already have. He weighs up. Okay. What else? Let's see. Come on, you didn't say, you didn't say, you didn't say. Oh. Teacher, tenemos que usar todas las palabras. Yes, in order to create a sentence. Okay. Very, very. We already have, he wakes up, okay, what, what, which one he is the next up one? On the, on the bed, on, on bed. Sit down. Very, Very on clock, on clock, sister. Late. No. no. He wakes up late. He wakes up. Get up. Um, early. Something, 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 something else is missing. Late o'clock. The number. In morning. Clock. On clock. At, it's missing at. Do you consider that is missing? Yes. If I click here, you are going to find out the right sentence. The time is Observe missing. Observe todas las palabras que tenemos aquí. Tenemos que trabajar con estas que están acá. Mire cómo es. ¿Será que las tengo ahí? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So, somebody get with it? Very. Alguien la lee por favor. Very early. Very early. He wakes up. He wakes up very early. Okay, he wakes up uh, very early, okay? He wakes up very early. Ah, okay. Again. He very wakes early. up very early. Okay, next. Okay, if I click uh, right here, you are going to listen. You are going to listen. Okay, we are, uh, let us do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Uh, I'm going to play the, the, the audio and you are going to write down the sentence in your, in your notebook. Yo voy a darle clip al audio y usted, con la ayuda de esta 
eh, tabla de nombres, usted escribe la oración que oye y luego vamos a checarlas. She washes her face. Okay, write down, write down, please, write down in your notebook. Escríbala, por favor. Again. She washes her face. She wash. She washes her face. She washes her face. Okay. Which one uh, I need to choose first right here? She. 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 Okay, the next one. Okay, the end was she washes her face. Ahí tenemos, ahí tenemos una interferencia otra vez. Tratemos de, si no utilizamos, si no vamos a participar, cerramos para permitirle a los demás el poder oír exactamente lo que estamos diciendo. Please. Mira, el ejercicio está muy bonito porque usted tiene que escribir lo que oye y luego comprobamos. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, listen, listen, listen. He has cereals for breakfast. He has cereals for breakfast. Okay, writing down. Okay. She has cereal breakfast. He has cereals for breakfast. Sí. Okay, tell me. He eats cereal for breakfast. He has cereal for breakfast. He has cereal for breakfast. He has. He has cereal. No. Cereals. Cereal. Cereal. Four. 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 Which one is the right one? Four. 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 Next one. Breakfast. 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 Okay, listen again. Listen again. He has cereals for breakfast. Okay, take a look, take a look. Oh, 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 okay, take a look. He has cereal for breakfast. Okay, next, next, next. What about this one? Listen. They brush their teeth after breakfast. They. Okay, let me see what is it. They. Brush. They brush. Okay, next. They. Side day. They brush their teeth. 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 With if. Okay, take a look. They brush their teeth. <laughs> After breakfast. After breakfast. Listen again. They brush their teeth after breakfast. They brush their teeth after breakfast.
Okay, one more. Okay, what about this? Listen, he, he always combs his hair. He, he, he always combs his hair. He, okay, which one is the right one? He always combs. Okay, read it, please. He always combs his hair. Okay, combs. you can you can use this sentence in, uh, for your information. Somebody can say, "I always comb my hair." I never combs my hair. Ah, you can say uh, I never also. You can use different kind of uh, frequency adverb. Okay, listen this. He gets dressed in the bedroom. Okay. He. 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 Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. one? Which one? This one or this one? This. The last. Gets. This, this one. Yes. Okay, he gets. In the dress. 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 Dress or dress? No. Dress. Dress. This one. Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? Listen. He gets dressed in the bedroom. Which one is missing? What no falta? Dress in. 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 the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Sure. Okay, so we are there. He dressed in the bedroom. One more. Namas. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, uh, this bird is in the past. In the, in the previous one, you are talking about the previous one. Dress. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are talking about this one, right? Yes. Okay, but in this case, uh, he get dressed in the bedroom. Uh, ¿Cuál sería la traducción más correcta? Porque nosotros decimos, me visto. Okay. El, el se viste en habitación. Sí. El, es como... ¿Se cambió o se cambia? La, la pregunta suya ya se, se refiere a por qué usar este pasado aquí. Sí. Ok. Ok. Esa es una expresión uh, propia del idioma. Dice get dressed. Es como, como vestirse, ¿no? El, el que va en presente es el verbo que tengo. Este es el importante. El principal es este. He get, gets dressed in the bathroom. Para, para ejemplificarle más esto. 
sería como un participio. They make the bed before going to school. They make the bed before going to school. They. Make, make the bed before before going. To school. To school. They make the bed before going to school. The bed before going to school. Going to school. Going to school. They make the bed before going to school. Okay, going to school. Before school. School. Okay, I'm there. I'm going to start getting more no se entiende nada. ¿Really? Es por la interferencia que no se entiende, teacher. Ok, permítame que lo regrese aquí. Esto que la interferencia se está ahí. Ah, hay alguien más con micrófono abierto. Ahí se cerró, ¿cierto? En un segundo estoy tratando de compartir la, la diapo con usted para que usted lo haga en su casa. Despacio. Vaya, por ahí lo tiene, véala, véala. Descargue, por favor, ahí le he compartido. ¿Y eso no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Esa diapo está muy bonita porque eh, manipulándola ustedes y pueden elegir para crear la la oración, hasta que ya no encuentran para dónde chequean cómo es la forma correcta. Por ahí se la pido. Okay, now with the teacher, Hello? la compartió como diapositiva, verdad? Yes. Es solo para que la vamos como estudiar. Perdón. Es solo para que la podamos como estudiar porque ya están formadas las oraciones. 
Si usted eh, va a escuchar y usted va a crear la oración conforme a lo que ha escuchado, lo que estábamos haciendo. Cuando ya termine, usted le da a revisar la oración para ver si usted eligió las palabras correctas. Es una forma de aprendizaje. Auto teaching. De autoaprendizaje. Ok. Uh, en el tiempo que nos queda. Um, I need some volunteer who try to tell us your daily routine. Alguien que nos comparta su rutina diaria. Veamos cómo ha funcionado el vocabulario que hemos visto hoy. And you are going to start right at the moment that you wake up. And you are going to say, okay, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I get up at uh, 4.30. And you continue doing that way, your daily routine. Okay, veamos quién, quién, quién. Well, I'm, I'm going to, okay, Ana Victoria. Um, I get up at five o'clock. I drive to the daughter's school and then I make or I do other activities or office work. At 12 o'clock, pick up my daughter and come back at home. Okay. <laughs> Remember that uh, maybe we have missed some steps. Posiblemente con lo que hemos visto hemos olvidado algunos pasos. Por ejemplo, uh, in my case, I can say I leave my house uh, a quarter after six. Yo salgo de mi casa a las seis y cuarto. Ah, okay. If I drive, I'm going to say I drive to my home or I take the bus to my home or uh, to my job in this case. Hay muchas cosas que podemos eh, incluir en las rutinas. Okay, somebody else, ¿quién más? Hola, hola, hola. Estoy teniendo como señal baja, por eso es la cámara a veces tengo que cerrarlo porque me da una indicación que me dice sin baja para que me consuma menos por rato. Eh, quizá por, no sé. Bueno, estamos esperando el nuevo servicio satelital que ya está en otro signo para ver si va a funcionar. Where do you live, teacher? Hello? Where do you live? I live in the east area of El Salvador. Yo vivo en el oriente de El Salvador. In, in the middle of San Miguel and Usulután. Right in the mm. That is why sometimes right here uh, in winter is really difficult sometimes. En la época de invierno, por esta zona llueve mucho. Porque sí, sí, ya tenemos bien. muchos bosques. Todo. Ok. Ok, somebody else wants to share the daily routine. Hello, hello. Sí. Bueno, me la están debiendo. 
Diana, 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 Diana. Okay, Diana. Go ahead, Diana. Okay, teacher. Un poco corta, pero. Okay, try to do it. Uh, and get up, and get up at uh, six yeah, o'clock. And a letter prepare my daughter for school. And then I take a, a take a shower uh, to go work. I start at a a I am club. Okay. Only maybe you miss the time that you wake up. up. Before to get up, you need to wake up. Sí, si no le toca andar dormida, sí. <risa> sí. Ah. Okay, how, how many hours how many hours do you work? Perdón. How many hours do you work? ¿Cuántas horas trabaja usted? Ah, uh, eight. Eight, eight, eight. eight, eight. eight, eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey. Okay, for now you can create your own daily routine. Okay, I invite you okay. to practice. Uh, I share uh, the slices with you in order that you can practice. Les compartí la diapo para que puedan practicar este tema todavía. Eh, lo vamos a ver una vez más, más adelante. También falta la parte de las horas. Hay que ver cómo decir la hora y otros aspectos más básicos, así es que estamos ahí pendientes de esa parte que falta. Let me check out the attendance again because we are so close to finish this session. And as I told before, I invite you to continue giving your best effort in order that you can learn something new. As I told in Spanish, I know that you are making a big, a huge effort in order to stay in front of your computer two hours. Yo sé que están haciendo un buen esfuerzo para estar ahí sentaditos dos horas y para mantener a los chicos ahí a quienes tienen eh, hijos pequeños, pues mantenerlos ocupados o alguien más de la familia también se está sacrificando eh, haciendo su, su parte para poder ayudar y, y permitir el crecimiento profesional en cada uno de ustedes, y eso es importante. Ok, let me see, Ana Victoria is the number one. Are you there, Ana Victoria? Yes, I am here. Ok, uh, Andrés. Hello, good evening, I'm here. Ok, uh, Angel. Present. Brenda, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, um, Carlos. Hello. Diana. Present teacher. Okay, Erica. Present teacher. Evelyn. Present. Uh, Ingrid. Present teacher. Uh, Ismael. Present teacher. José Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia. Present teacher. Ok, Katia. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Michael. Michael is not here. Okay. Eh, Rosalie. Present teacher. Sandra. I'm here, teacher. Sonia. Sandra. Present teacher. Ok, y la tutoría para el día de hoy le corresponde a Evelyn, Karina, Lina. I have to see you 10 minutes after the class. Ok, thank you very much.
I invite you to continue working on the platform in order that you can resolve the exercise that we have there. Les invito a que entren a la plataforma, continuemos. Y la pregunta es si a quienes tenían problemas para entrar ya se les resolvió o no. Si no les han resuelto, por favor me escriben, escribanme sus datos en el grupo para poder reenviar a alguien que nos en eso. Me lo dejan hoy, por favor. Okay. I do really appreciate your time. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and bye bye. Only want to talk with uh Good night, Good night. Good night. Okay, bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Like it, sir. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, la primera es con el uso de cómo se llama el do y el do es cuando son plural, plurales, ¿verdad? El uso del do en primera y segunda persona tiene que ser do. Ok. En terceras personas el do. Das, das. Das, ok, das. Ok, de segunda. Otra, otra consulta, eh, ¿será que la primera clase dice que tengo una duda en la, en la, en la plataforma? Okay. Ahí donde aparece un cuadrito, este, no sé, un recuadro, no sé qué es lo que, que son conversaciones las que vamos a poner ahí o, o, o cómo. O sea, a mí, o sea no, me, no me quedó claro ese, ese pedacito, si, si son conversaciones. O, o qué es lo que se va a poner en, en esta okay, son on. como la primera y la segunda let me show it let me show it déjame buscar la primera por Okay, show me the number of the exercises. Indicame el número del ejercicio, por favor. Mm -hmm. Sí. Es el segundo ejercicio de la clase. la clase de la primera clase que sería eh, se llama afirmative a un negative statement entonces ahí en ese recuadro no sé o sea yo lo llené, yo lo llené pero no sé si está correcto o no, o incorrecto. Ok, hold on, let, let me see. Let me... Pero está seguro que la tarea... La tarea... De conferencia número uno. En la tarea 1 solo me aparecen cinco oraciones que tengo que resolver con la forma del B. Ok. En la, en la tercera tarea igual siempre aparece un recuadro. Oraciones 
No, no veo eso. No sé si usted puede compartir la pantalla. ¿Lo voy a mandar al grupo? O... No, no, no. Eh, de compartir es aquí mismo. Hay un botón verde abajo que dice share screen o compartir pantalla. Aquí en su... no, la... del, del celular y no me aparece oh, okay. Okay, but I'm checking the, the number la clase 3 y lo que tengo son ok, let me show you I guess it's going to be better me dice si es un segundo. ¿Será esta parte? No, no, no. La dos, la dos. Ah, no me chico. Okay. No, 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 no me aparece esa, pero esa es de la semana pasada. Yes. yes. No. No me aparece esa. Si no te me aparece esto, no sé si te alcanza a ver. Mm. Esto. Ahí. Okay, as you can see here, number one, uh, affirmative and negative statement. Okay, number one, we are. Okay, number two is this. Siguiente es esta. Yes. Question and your answer. Entonces no sé dónde te parece. Pero a mí no me aparece eso, sino que me aparece un recuadro nada más. Eh, eso es lo que me llama. Me llama la atención porque me aparece como que no se me estuviera en el adecuado, en el mundo adecuado. Ah, en serio. Pero sí. es el uno. Ok, ok. Haga lo siguiente, si no puedes compartir la pantalla. Uh, algunas capturas y me las envío para ver realmente okay. sí porque no, no. online Pero si no. Okay. entonces eso voy a hacer para para que me me ayude ahí con eso no le he entendido a eso. Ah, ok. Sí, por eso yo necesito ver qué es lo que él va a estar. Solamente eso es. No es mi ok, en, envíenme la pregunta. Vale, está bien, yo se las envío. Eh, ahorita. Al personal. Yes. Okay. Las envío entonces. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, bye. Okay, good night, take care.